This video is sponsored by Datacam and I'll talk about them in a little bit so stay tuned for that. What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. In this video we are going to talk about data analyst. It is becoming one of the most popular job in the United States. I know a lot of you are interested in becoming one. So in this video we are going to answer very specific question and not just from me but from the industry people who are working as a real data analyst. Let's get started. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because we talk about career in United States, personal finance, productivity, self-help and some sketches. So stay tuned for that. What I've done in this video is something really interesting. I've asked three of my friends who are working as a data analyst uh, full time in United States in one of the top companies like Walmart, Microsoft, Amazon. So they decided to join this video. All of your questions which you keep asking me about data analyst and I know that a lot of you are wanting to understand what does data analyst really do in the industry. So I took your question and I asked them who are now working as a data analyst. So hopefully this will be very interesting and helpful and valuable. Let me introduce you to the all the three guests which we are having in today's episode. Number one is Soporno who is working as a data analyst manager. For Walmart, number two is Tani Patel, who is working as a data analyst for several companies, Microsoft. Now she's working for some other company. She also had Cisco, I think. And number third is Raghu, who's working as a data analyst for Amazon. So all three people, data and real data analyst, and we're going to get some industry specific questions and also some of the top companies in the world. So very excited. Here's the first question I asked them. What is the most common skill they use in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, we've heard a lot, we've seen a lot of videos on data analysts, but I wanted to know what do they use in their day-to-day -day life uh, as a data analyst? Here's what they said. Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, and I think this is a top, top of the table by a long shot is SQL. I mean, any sort of SQL, my, my SQL, SQL or whatever it may be, that is like the first and foremost, you need to know SQL, otherwise, no data job is is not do, uh, do, doable without, without SQL. I would say, SQL, 100%. I use that every day, all day. Uh, Excel. And then they start shifting towards automations and everything. So SQL and Python and all these things will come. They, these will definitely come. I love the consistency that SQL is definitely one of the most popular skill to become a data analyst. Uh, there's also another aspect of it, which is the data visualization. Here's what they said about that. Secondly would be any sort of data visualization tool like uh, Power BI, Tableau, Looker. I mean, all of there are different ones, but all of them mostly run in the same sort of feature. You need to know where to use bar graphs, where to use pie chart and those kind of things. Power BI, any kind of data visualization tools. So Power BI, Tableau, depends on what organization you're going for. Uh, they use different tools, but Power BI, Tableau, Looker are uh, popular data visualization tools they are so there you have it those are the most important skills to become a data analyst and talking about skills that's where our sponsor will come into the picture data camp who's our sponsor of the video thank you for sponsoring this video data camp is an online teaching platform where they have several of courses where they teach you everything about data and pretty much to anybody and everyone like i mentioned they have several courses to learn data they could be data science that could be data engineer that could be data analyst you could learn python r sql excel so many things so let's say what of you like what if you don't know what you want to learn but you know that you want to become a data analyst that's where data camp is something amazing feature i love is that their track feature where you can say that I, you can either track it through your skills or through your career. You can say, I want to become a data analyst. Show me all the courses which I need to take to become a data analyst. And they will show you all the courses you need to take to become a data analyst. Or you can say like, now that you know that you have to learn some form of Tableau or you have to learn SQL. You can say, I want to learn SQL and you can have all the courses lined up for SQL. 
amazing feature. Also, they don't only provide just courses to learn. They also have sections for projects and practices. In future questions, which I ask to real data analysts, they will say that build your profile, work on the projects. How do you know what projects to work on? That's where this feature really comes into handy because you they have a list of projects you can start and there, there are some projects which have guides on it. So it will take you one by one step or the other and you can build a project and that will help you build a portfolio. I highly, highly recommend you use my link to go and subscribe to the data camp. Uh, basically, anything you want to learn, the first chapter of any course will be free. And after that, you can decide if you really want to subscribe. I highly recommend you to subscribe because you can invest into your future and you will learn a lot. I promise you will not be disappointed. Link in the description. Moving on to the second question, which I asked all the data analysts is like, what does their day to day life look like? What do they do in their day to day life? Just what they said. My day to day is I, I log in to work, I check my emails and then I would have a list of requirements or the QBR or weekly reports that I have to um, provide it to do my business. So then I'll go into Snowflake, write some SQL code, you know, and then uh, build some metrics and reports and or data visualization uh, and then uh, then the important part, the second most important part is to have uh, meetings with the business. So I have a lot of meetings with my uh, business team, trying to understand what are their goals? What is it, what, is, what are goals for our team? What is a Q, Q, uh, quarterly goals or monthly goals? What are the, uh, and then uh, provide the data or metrics according to the goals to see what are, whatever the efforts we are putting into the business side or product or it depends what team you are working, but uh, it is, coming along from the data point of view and and sometimes you also make a decision based on what the so you as a person i need to help them to understand the data whatever they're putting in the report i'll walk through them in the meeting this is what this is telling me so it would be like hey you have to th these are the open tickets um, mm. and these are the requests from people we have these issues so going through those issues um Stakeholder management is part of that. Stakeholders yeah. come to us and like, hey, this is uh, uh, this is something we need by today evening. Uh, so <laughs> that we have to discuss with our manager, setting right. expectations, priorities. Yeah. Uh, so that, that, that as soon as we we're done with that, we go to our own, uh, you know, zone right. of doing the tickets, going through the tickets, uh, doing the analysis, and then. In my team, the, the analysts are very much, uh, very much focused, focused mainly on developing dashboards and developing reports for mainly for senior executives. Uh, so, in my, in our team, the main goal sort of our main products are dashboards and data models. Now, the dashboards are created by the uh, data analyst. So, the main sort of development, main sort of job they are do, work they are doing is basically creating queries and SQL queries to pull data using those data to create dashboards and now the dashboards are sort of now they have they have to understand the sort of requirements the executives have and then convert it into technical features or technical specification they have to understand the customer requirements and they convert it into technical features into the, those data representations again it depends on company to company some company does afford to have a specific data analyst to just do the data analysis part but some company cannot afford and they have data engineer and data analyst as a combined role so again it depends company to company but that's what really data analysts really do moving on to the third question I, which i asked them and which i know a lot of you really want to know is like what if i don't have a work experience can i still become a data analyst like, can i still get a job as a data analyst is what they said about that definitely definitely no doubt about it data analyst uh, is <clears throat> seen as a starting career for a lot of uh, fresh graduates so okay. definitely fresher can get it yep definitely um as i said uh, i studied software engineering mm -hmm. uh, and i started as a data analyst i had no background um all i did was a project uh and the data science that's how i started of course of course they can so you can equate data analyst same as a SD software. position. Yeah. A software position. So if you can get you can get an entry level of software engineering software engineering position. Similarly, you can get an entry level data analyst position. Uh, for example, if so, if you are someone new who just graduated from I don't know, B, uh, done B Tech and came to US, 
then yes you have to build a portfolio you have to your github profile has to be spot on you have to have worked on multiple projects with professors and whoever you want build your own project so that you have something to show and again once uh, that's the way to get the interview now after you get the interview it's all up to you if you answer their questions you're good i 100% agree with them and yes you can absolutely get a job as a data analyst even if you don't have work experience i have seen people who are coming from civil engineer mechanical engineer industrial engineering going into data analyst and still getting a job so i know that you can get it you just have to work on the right path and will be able to get it now that you know what skill is important what they do day to day what uh, you know that you can become a data analyst even without experience you are like okay what do they really ask in interviews uh, this what they i ask them what is the most common interview questions what are some of the most common interview questions uh, and here's what they said so i have given uh, interviews in all of the fan companies except netflix so uh, in all of in all of them at least three first three rounds mm. is sql and i can i can stress more on how important is sql is uh, so there are three rounds of sql uh, query questions so they will so what will they, they will, you have to technically write a type of pseudo code they will give you a board uh, online board they will give you a problem a data set then they will ask oh find this give me this data give me this data this data and you have to write down the code and facebook for example in my uh, in my interview they gave me a list uh, a table of the advert uh, the ads they are running for the last one year so ad id ad duration ad names something some, uh, then year and date something like that so from that data set you have to pull in oh what was the highest number of ads that was seen viewed in the last 5 day, five days or 10 days something like that so what is the uh lowest viewed ad what was the maximum time of ad was viewed viewed or uh, which customer viewed which ad those kind of things so uh functions like dense rank ranking row numbers uh then joins these become very important so these are like you have to know this by heart and i mean you have to have to be nailed on your head so these are some of the questions you get once these technical rounds are done for the first three rounds then you go in the final rounds they may mostly ask about sort of your background uh, story type questions as in behavioral type as in tell me about a time you you know use data to solve a problem or these the basic set of stars star analogy like type questions definitely sql questions you're going to get a uh, get as the sql query to write you're going to get they're going to give you the scenarios to write the sql query so definitely an that example one. like give an, an example. example yeah for example they'll give you um let's say amazon they'll give you table a for the customer that are buying products and table b for uh, so there will be customer data and table b would be for the sales that is related to those products you know and then they'll ask and then the table c would be for product data and then they'll ask you to write a query to find out uh which customer bought the product a the most mm-hmm. to write mm-hmm. a query to write a query for that or it's simple they can start it from the join so joins uh left yeah. join right join are the basic uh basic sql stuff and then they can go to the windows function which is okay give us a running total or give us a sum by this give us a sum by product give us give us a uh, uh difference by i don't know uh the top top selling product out of all this product so then they, then it it gets the window it, it gets some advanced level sql so if the if the role is heavy on reporting side all you're doing is migrate report migration or what not then uh, they would ask you question related to particular software that they're using either power or tool they're using power bi or tableau mm-hmm. and then data visualization techniques as in mm-hmm. what chart you use for example pie chart versus bar chart the, just the example i gave you uh i think most of them are in terms of uh, sql so basic and advanced sql questions um and then some of the technical questions include uh if we have this scenario if we have x and y which one would would you choose um and why uh, ju- just just for example uh, i had taken this test um we have this marketing website we have all the data uh, i was uh, given this test and yeah. we, uh, i was say hey marketing um has finance section and sports section yeah so in this time frame 
which one would you promote uh, and why can you show it with data you're probably wondering like okay i do want to become a data analyst but how much money do they make I asked them what is the salary range for data analysts here's what they said between 80k to 120k if you're just uh annually if you're just starting uh as a beginner so for example in uh walmart labs is based in bentonville arkansas now that's a pretty inexpensive place uh so there there are the salary ranges around i think 1 110 to 120 ish a uh, data analyst uh that that's a data analyst one obviously data analyst two will be higher so that's that's in arkansas so uh, so assume that in uh, seattle or california it will be much higher right right it depends on company to company but uh, mostly uh, and i i think the play, uh, the city as well so new york city i can i can say um, i was offered in the range of uh, 70 to 90000 dollars for a data analyst and that is it for this video i did ask them couple more questions so let me know if you are interested to see the full podcast session separately if you do i'll put it on my channel so you can watch the whole thing instead of just a specific question but let me know if you also want to see some other career you might be interested in i will try to bring those specific people who are working right now in the industry maybe program manager product manager project manager scrum master software developer there are so many roles you can get into tech so if you're interested comment below and again for don't forget data camp right now link in the description go check it out highly recommend you if you want to become a data analyst that is the website you need to go and subscribe you will learn a lot i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got to hustle every single day also let me know how do you like the format